Apparently, Jojo Siwa has been losing it a little bit, bro. That thumbnail looked actually insane. This is a Patrick CC video. Look at this thumbnail, bro. She literally looks like a member of KISS. Y'all know KISS? I'm pulling up KISS. Hold on. KISS band. She literally looks like she's like dressing up as someone from KISS, bro. I swear to God. Is she doing the KISS thing? No, that's actually not that different. I was Gene Simmons from KISS for Halloween one year. Oh, just wait till you see some clips of her. I literally know nothing, bro. I know JoJo Siwa used to be like this like peachy clean like... Uh, is, wasn't she just some like girly girl? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like my little sister used to watch her a little bit. That's all I know. I've, I've, I don't even think I've seen a JoJo Siwa video. I just know people used to clown her a little bit and that's it. And then apparently, yeah, she turned. I know she came out and then apparently she started wearing crazy makeup and now everyone's like, oh my God, JoJo Siwa is insane now. So I have no idea what's going on. She be grinding on stage now. She make music? I didn't even know she made music. What is she? She was like a YouTuber, right? Was she a YouTuber or like a TikToker? I'm pretty sure she was just a TikToker, right? I don't know. I feel out of the loop, bro. I'm, I'm an old head now. Um, but this video catch me up though. Why everyone hates Jojo Siwa? One of the biggest challenges of the child star curse is transitioning from their youthful identity to adulthood while still appealing to and respecting their young fan base. Jojo Siwa has recently faced major backlash for her attempted switch from a bright eyed, smiley, and colorful. Yeah, this, the character development is insane. Tween role model to a rebellious, edgy, and provocative pop what star. The? But the animosity That's towards Jojo, Jojo is understandable because this transition is obviously disingenuous. Today, I'm going mean? to break down exactly- So is she actually, like, is she just- this? That face makeup is like her aura for her new song. So is she actually like a bad person or is she just weird to everybody now? Is this just one where everyone's like, oh, Jojo C was so weird now, or is she actually a bad person? why Jojo Siwa's transition is failing miserably and prove that Damn. even she doesn't believe in her new bad girl persona. Damn. For Siwa's entire life, she was known as a positive, hardworking, and charismatic dancer who rose to fame through the hit Lifetime reality TV show, Dance Moms. She was on Dance Jojo Moms? used her youth fame to grow her YouTube channel and social media presence, oh, yeah, and nearly 30 years old, Siwa released her hit single, Boomerang, an upbeat song that addresses childhood bullying. The song would go on to earn a two times platinum certification and the music video has accumulated over a one- A BILLION?! Jojo Siwa has a music video with a billion views? What is this? I need to know what this is. Boomerang by Jojo Siwa. What? What is this? Have y'all heard this? Hang Jojo Siwa. Let's listen. Let's listen. No, it has a billion views. What is it? Is it good? Let's hear it. billion views. From there, the 14-year-old signed to Nickelodeon, appearing in children's television shows like Bizarre Vark and The Thundermans, as well as various television the specials was fire. and award shows. Y'all remember The Thundermans? The Thundermans was so good. She became a modern Nickelodeon superstar, releasing various songs, TV shows, TV movies, and performing sold-out concert tours in stadiums around the world. She She's even launched her own merchandise line of JoJo's Bows. The lucrative business venture reportedly sold more than business 80 million about? bows from 2016 to 2020, equating oh, to well rich. over oh, 400 rich, rich. Oh, million rich, rich. dollars, according to Forbes. By the time she was 17, she was filthy rich and was a positive influence on her millions of young girl fans all around the world. Naturally, while entering adulthood, child stars start to think about how long they can or want to appeal to children. JoJo's more mature gigs were competing on Dancing with the Stars and becoming a judge on So You Think You Can Dance. But those mature audiences struggled to take her seriously as a judge. Even though she had over a decade of dance experience and was sporting a new adult-like pixie cut. Plus, no matter what, bro, like everyone's gonna clown her. Everyone's gonna clown a bunch of these like child stars, bro. No matter what, just imagine if the world only knew you for like who you were when you were 16 years old. That's actually terrifying, bro. Like the world has an image of you at 16 and anytime you like grow up and try to go out of that, they're just like, yo, what's, what's happening with them now? And they only know you for stuff you did like in the middle of your teen years or even worse as a kid, bro. Like as a kid, like these child stars, it's dark, bro. It's dark. I read Jeanette McCurdy's book about like child stardom and stuff. That shit gets dark. It is a dark industry, bro. Just being a judge on these dance shows is typically a job someone takes when they are past their prime. Jojo is just 20 years old and believes she has 
as much more to offer to the world. So it was time to make a drastic change to let the world know she is not a bright colored child star anymore. Siwa's fans were suspicious of her transition while she began rolling out her newest single, Karma. In February of 2024, Jojo posted a photo of her wearing so all she got black and up? tattooing her entire left arm. She also posted a video on TikTok showing those tattoos, which were fake by the way. Shortly after she posted a oh. series of nine photos on Instagram, each with one word captions that in order read, see you in one month. Remember, karma's a bit. Considering that everything Damn. she had ever posted on Instagram was a 4K quality photo of her smiling and wearing bright colors, the grainy dim lit photos with one curse word in the caption was actually a <laughs> drastic change. Just it shouldn't be, I'm sorry, dude. That's actually insane, dude. That is the most, like, can't be pretty shit of all time, bro. I think Joe. Posting some shit like this, bro. You know she posted this and, like, thought she was the shit. Photos with one oh, curse word God. in the caption was She's actually growing up, bro. I don't know, man. I think JoJo is in her f***ing era. It looks so illegal to see JoJo putting a curse word on her captions. She's in her Miley Cyrus era. I'm torn. My daughter likes rainbows. Miley Cyrus did do that! Bows, JoJo. Facts. I'm invested Miley Cyrus in this f***ing JoJo. I want to know what's happening. The following week, she posted this celebratory video with the caption, My last week being a child star. But the official transition marks when she posted this warning video to TikTok. Warning. The following content is not made for children and may be disturbing or offensive to some viewers. Make Contain sexual themes, violence, strong language, dramatic scenarios, and flashing lights. Viewer discretion is advised. She would later explain the warning in a video that it was important to me to give that heads up and be like, look, if you follow along, that's all you. If you want to go, now's your time. This was JoJo's way of formally letting the parents of her young fans know that she is not the kid-friendly star anymore. I mean, that's like nice though, right? At least I gave them like the warning, you know what I mean? Like, New era of life, we're becoming an adult. <laughs> How many tits are gonna pop out today? Nobody knew yet what was coming, but JoJo claims her transition would be shocking. That's been my massive, my most massive inspiration is no one has made this dramatic of a change yet. No one has made in my generation this extreme. Miley Cyrus did do it. I'm not gonna lie. Miley Cyrus did do it. Dream of a switch and. I am the first in the generation. It is very scary, but someone's gotta do it. Now, I'm not really sure what counts as JoJo's generation. But this is what Patrick CC looks like? Making some yeah. huge claims here. What could he this extreme switch be? When she finally teased the intro of her song, the comments absolutely eviscerated her. But before we dive deeper, have you ever Googled your name and seen yourself on one of those strange sites that has too much information about you? Feels Loki. pretty weird. I'd really rather that kind of stuff wasn't available to anyone who's looking for it. Data brokers are making tons of money selling our information to robocallers and spammers. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today. Oh my god, he got me. That was an ad? <laughs> yo, yo, he actually got me. <laughs> Bro, I was like, what the fuck? That was like one of the best. Like, I literally did not realize I was being like sold an ad. That, that was a really weird switch up, but I didn't like, all right, whatever. Inc. Aura.com slash Patrick CC. AT&T revealed that over 72 million monitor account activity. It's for Brother! Breach and kitchen or Shout out Aura. thanks aura when jojo siwa finally previewed her highly anticipated song people in the comments were ruthless it, it sounds, sounds like spotify, spotify ads. Ads. <laughs> is this literally lab rats music it sounds like fortnite default emote music it's this is party rock anthem bro the internet is mean dude oh the beginning my God. of her song starts out with the lyrics i was a bad girl i did some bad things and she also says that she was a wild child which just led to see okay not not even in the full Okay, some just child stars, but people we've seen, especially standing in 2024, we've seen so many people go from like the world perceives them this way to completely switching everything up and executing it. I think the one thing that sets people apart is just the skill and the ability to. And if you're good at something and you go full force on what you're changing into, like people are gonna like like look at Lil Yachty, bro. Lil Yachty did it. Lil Yachty went from the like bright colored hair, mumble rapper, everyone's climbing on and stuff like that, and now he's like a rock artist, bro. You know what I mean? Tyler Crater did it. I'm, I know someone like a Tyler Crater Grace, Glazer, but he went from the guy that made Goblin to the guy that made Igor Flowerboy. You know what I'm saying? It's just like that. I mean, it's possible. I, I just feel like you have to be good at what you do. You know what I mean? To more and more negative. And I think that's where she kind of struggles because I, I feel like the stuff. 
Well, Yachty ain't doing all this. Yeah, if anything, Yachty calmed down. Like, Yachty used to dress up and then kind of went to, like, some chill, just calm little fits and then, like, started doing the rock stuff. But if JoJo Siwa started dressing like this, but actually put out, like, good music, like, if the music was just fire, like, if she just made super good music, regardless, people, like, the internet is honest. I'll say that, like, the internet can be mean, but they're honest. And that's why they can be really mean. Because if the music was good, people would be like, okay, you know what I mean? Like, people would give her the benefit of the doubt if the music was good. And what she was doing was, like, good and cool. But it's not. <laughs> give reactions <laughs> you know in the comment mean? sections. The song was most definitely viral before. React to her music video, Bow? Dude, I tried to play the one with a billion views and I clicked off after a second. Bow Jojo Siwa. Let's let's uh let's react to this. Jojo Siwa turns into wait what? React to her music video now. Oh, okay. Wait, so do what do I just look up Jojo Siwa? Jojo Siwa. Is it called Boomerang? Karma? Is it called Karma? This one? It came out a month ago. Karma? Shot Carmen. 38 million views! Jesus! What's the most recent one? Yeah, it's Karma. I think. Yeah, it's Karma. Oh, she started a whole new YouTube for it. Yeah, it's Karma. 38 million, though? Never mind. I think about what I said, bro. Regardless if it's trash or not, she getting 38 million views on a video, bro. She's doing all right. She, she, she gonna be all right, bro. Let's listen. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I don't have it in me. I don't have it in me. I don't think you guys have it in you either, bro. I can't, I can't. Like, I just, bro, ah! Why? One more second. Nope, 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 nope. Before it even got- You did not just say hell yeah! All right, bro. I released, but <laughs> not because people were dying to hear it. It's because people oh were making God. fun of it. Yet JoJo claimed that something crazier was still going to happen. Everyone's been talking about the song, talking about the song, oh, this about the song, that about the song. No one's even questioned the music video yet. I'm about to start sharing some things with the music video, and that's where she gets real crazy. But then when she started sharing the music video snippets, I guess the craziness was supposed to be the sensual dancing, or maybe this Blades of Glory inspired outfit, or maybe the Kiss inspired makeup, or maybe- Caught it! I said that before, Kiss, caught that it. The setting is on the caught island it. above Bikini caught Bottom. It. Adults Dude, looking at JoJo and above Bikini Bottom. <gasps> it does kind of look like Bikini! Oh, that's insane. Adults looking at JoJo's imagery ironically look at this like a kid who's trying so- Face paint's gonna fire. I'll say it. I don't care. I'll say it. It's gonna fire. If she- I just wish she would pull it off with good music, bro. I don't care what anyone says. If she rocked this fit and dropped some fire ass shit. Not some like whatever the hell that was. Like good music, bro. If she was rocking this, people would be like, damn. JoJo Siwa got aura. So hard to be an adult that it just makes her look even more like an uncomfortable kid. Don't ever put Sponge Goat next to her. Some of the most respected people in the world have come up to me and been like, what you're doing right now is so right. It is so right. It is what the world needs. Like, I'm li I'm, I'm learning from what you're doing right now. And that's crazy to me. I mean, I heard that from Lil Nas X yesterday. Heard it from Megan Trainer a few days ago. I, I love Lil Nas X. It's just crazy that that was the first one she named. Bro. It, it blows my mind. It blows my mind. The support from people like that. Megan Trainer fell off and Lil Nas X is making music videos dancing on the devil's lap, bro. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, bro. Like, those are the most, like, that is literally the most predictable. She said Megan Trainer, who made all about that bass and fell off the face of the earth, and Lil Nas X, who's dancing on the devil's lap in music videos. Tongue kissing the devil, bro. But again, no obviously he loves this. No matter what? how much she tried to build up hype, people couldn't be less enthusiastic no! about this release. I fuck with Lil Nas X though. And JoJo's attempts at being a He's badass fired. just gave the internet more fuel to make fun of her. Oh, Green guest on my podcast? Oh my gosh. I mean, honestly, let's spice things up. One of my exes. Oh? Finally, the song dropped on April 5th, which accompanied an interview with Kyle, so cringe. Oh, God. where JoJo claims that she was doing something groundbreaking. There's never really one of my exes. An oh, God. One of my exes. Influencer child star. Why is she trying to make a cigarette voice, bro? Are turned into music. Oh, God. One of my exes. Star. She then went on to say that she believes this song is the first step in inventing a new genre. What would you call the genre? 
The genre is, I said it back in the day, when I first signed with Columbia, I said, I want to start a new genre of music. And they said, what do you mean? And I said, well, it's called gay pop. And they were like... Not only is the child star turned pop star extremely common, but the song she released is structured Gaga, Kesha, Carly Rae Jepsen. Do not compare Carly Rae Jepsen to Jojo Siwa. Carly Rae Jepsen is a god etc. Less than a week later, she corrected her statement telling TMZ that she definitely was not the inventor of the style, but rather wanted to be a piece in making it bigger than it already is. Walking back her comments was her first misstep. She hyped up this era like she was doing something generational. She should have just doubled down on her statements and been like, yeah, I invented gay pop. What are y'all going to do about it? We all agree Facts. it's a ludicrous statement, but Facts. she already said it, so I ain't going to stand on it. Don't be all like, oh no, this is what I actually meant. Badasses don't explain themselves. Facts, However, things got even business. worse for JoJo when TikTokers realized she didn't write the song. When analyzing the credits, you had to get on Spotify, you will notice that Desmond Child, Timbaland, Antoinina Armato, and Tim James are credited as the writers. And I mean, it's a pop song. I'm, uh... And Rock Mafia as the producers. Antoinina Armato is a well-respected songwriter who wrote hits like This Love by Maroon 5 and The Heart Wants What It Wants by Selena Gomez. Mm -hmm. Armato also wrote for Miley Cyrus during her Disney Channel era. Because of this, people suspected that the song was originally written for Miley's breakout moment into adulthood, and they also found this 2012 tweet that may have supported that theory. Big thanks to Timbaland and Rock Mafia for a great collaboration on hashtag karma's a bit. And then Miley responded and said, don't forget me, bitch. But Miley never released a song called Karma and No way, it's literally a it's a Miley Cyrus song. It's a Miley Cyrus song. Her big hit is a Miley Cyrus song. Oh we don't even know if she ever recorded a demo for this song. We would later find out that Brit That's Smith, rough. an artist basically nobody has ever heard of, was actually meant to release- Patrick CC seems like a chill ass dude. Get him in the blood rotation. That's insane. I've never seen his face. He does seem pretty cool though. Karma back in 2012. I've never seen him show his face in his videos before. Wolf. Rough Mafia back in the day. It was supposed to be my first single. Things <laughs> changed and I went with provocative um, instead and shouldn't have done that really. We should have gone with Karma. That was my first choice, but label things got in the way and I kind of was led um, in that direction. And we went with provocative and then I left the industry after that. Brit. Miley Cyrus is good. I don't care what anyone says. She has some good songs, bro. She has a song off her first album called Rooting For My Baby. That's really good. And JoJo's versions are almost exactly the same. The lyrics are word for word the same and the structure of the song no! is nearly one to one. But Brit's version is so much more dynamic. It is no! like no driven, way! It feels oh, more so like bad. a classic 90s slash I was rooting for JoJo Siwa. I don't care what anyone says. Plus, Brit is a better her. vocal okay. performer. Wasn't, but once this information came to light, Avocado. TikTok exploded. I was playing Devil's Avocado the whole time. Loaded with viral videos claiming JoJo stole this song. The narrative shifted from JoJo is cringe to JoJo is cringe and a thief. The craziest ah! part of this whole situation is that Brit Smith got approval to release her version of the song just one week after JoJo released hers. Fans liked Brit's version so much it nearly outstreamed JoJo's, securing 5 million streams and reaching number 6 on Spotify's viral 50 charts. Brit Smith's version let's do, also Let's do side by side. Let's do side by side. I'm not gonna lie, now I'm curious, bro. We're talking about, we're accusing her of stealing songs now, okay? Karma's a B-word by, I don't know what I'm saying B-word, I've already crossed this video. Karma's... A uh, B, Brit Smith, and then we'll go. Uh, Jojo Siwa's Karma Jojo Siwa. We're gonna play these right by each other, okay? We're gonna go back to back. We're gonna play them back to back. And we're gonna see how similar they sound, okay? So where's hers at? Yeah, oh my god, literally came out a month ago. It actually just it did come out a month ago, bro. Yeah, gotta listen to both now. We're gonna listen to both. We're gonna see if they actually stole, bro. Cause that's a crazy accusation. That's an accusation, bro. Okay, let's listen to hers first. Actually, no, listen to JoJo's first. Okay, now let's listen to hers. This is Brit Smith. This apparently came out, this was made before, but it wasn't allowed to be released until after, okay? Let's listen, let's listen, let's just listen. Bar for bar. It's not bar for bar. It's not bar for bar. Stop. 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 Play it. Let 
Not only is it the same lyrics, bro, this actually does sound better. Oh my god. Dude. Well, uh, yeah, JoJo C was not looking great. <laughs> and five million oh my god! Number six on Spotify's viral. Brit's version is better. That's actually insane. 50 charts. Oh my god. Brit Smith's version also peaked at number eight on the US iTunes pop chart, surpassing Siwa's, which peaked word at number Word for word, bar for bar, literally, bro. The Billboard Hot 100. Beat for Brit beat! Beat for beat! Smith literally made a come up off people hating JoJo Siwa. JoJo previewed another unreleased song, which was immediately. Bro, stop. Why? 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 They're not even, I hate to say it, shout out to the people she's stealing from, they're not even that good of songs, bro. You have so much money, you have a music video with over a billion views, you have access to the best producers in the world, you can just get a god squad of people assembled and just make a banger. Learn how to write songs. Why are you stealing, bro? What are you doing? What do you have? You only have things to lose and nothing to gain. No one saw this TikTok and was like, yo, y'all hear that new JoJo Siwa song about her ex though? Yo, that was fire. I'm like, no one. No one cared about this. No one cared about this. You had nothing to gain and everything to lose. Why? Emily responded to the leak with this comment. I, I actually swear to God. didn't sign off on bro, it. Bro, everyone has ghostwriters, bro. So many pop singers. Literally, someone can just pay for it. Yeah, I swear to God. You can literally just get people to pay for you. No one would care. No one would care. No one cares about ghostwriters if you're a pop star, bro. Coming no out cares. with JoJo. Not her fault. If my version gets love, I can still put it out after hers. It's unclear wow. what Emmeline meant by this, and she didn't end up explaining it further. But then Siwa finally responded to the comments of her allegedly stealing her songs. The background on Karma, honestly, it's an old song. I was pitched it. I loved it, was obsessed with it, so I, I grasped onto it. Why not that instead of a new song? No, there's that's a very normal thing. A lot of songs are, are, are okay. what happens is people write songs and then they just don't do anything with them. And then a few years later, it makes more sense for another- She's not wrong. She's not wrong. Artist. No. Did you steal it from Brit Smith? I did not steal anything. <laughs> <laughs> there's no such thing as stealing. No, I've seen that. There is such thing as stealing. I just wish you would have said that or just say like, it's just the way she handled it, bro. It's always the way she handled it. It's the way she handled it, bro. Think about um, uh, the one uh, Choose Your Fighter, one of my other songs. But no, that's the same situation. Somebody else did write it. I did not write the song. And then, you got the rights to it. But I have the rights to it. JoJo did not steal these songs. It is common for artists to not write their own music and have music that other people wrote pitched to them. Most of the time, songwriters make a batch of songs and send them out to multiple yeah, artists. She's not wrong, and whoever is the first to buy the rights and release the song publicly is the legal <sighs> owner of that song. 99% of your favorite artists have worked with songwriters. The one caveat to this is that JoJo's preview of her Choose Your Fighter song was not even her voice. So she didn't record her version of it yet and previewed it thinking nobody would realize it isn't her singing. But Jojo is being way too open about her lack of songwriting. She is cosplaying the bad girl while trying to explain, no, 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 you guys don't understand how the industry works. I'm not a songwriter, I'm just a performer. When has any major pop artist ever explained exactly how they don't write their music? It ruins the aura, the mystique of being an artist. She low-key got aura with the thing, bro, she just sold it, bro. How is anyone supposed to connect with your lyrics and brand after after you blatantly said you don't write your words. Like Facts. we know that you and every other pop star in history don't write their own songs, but Facts. don't say it. And you can tell even Facts. she knows Facts. she okay, shouldn't yeah. talk about Facts, it. Because bro. listen to her stutter and hesitate to speak on her writers in this interview. Honestly, I, I, I wrote this rap song called The Lies Sound Better. Sure. I told my, I told my uh, writer, I was like, look, 
faster than Busta Rhymes. I was like, I challenge me. But the main reason why nobody is faster than Busta Rhymes, I want a challenge. Why is she doing that voice? Because in some of the clips, she talks completely normal, and then in some of them, she has, like, the cigarette voice. I feel like she's trying to be somebody she's not. And I get it. You're getting older. It's some, I just feel like she's really... I mean, she literally admitted to it, bro. She's like, oh, no one's ever made this big of a change. She's admitting to putting on an act, bro. This isn't her. Like, it's just not her, bro. She seems like a very sweet girl. She's a very nice girl, bro. I don't think she's the squeaky, clean, uh, girl, makeup, bow tie girl or whatever, but I just don't think she's this. I think she needs to find that middle ground find herself i think she needs to chill on whatever this is find herself bro because you're not you're not either of there's a balance there's a balancing act in between these two that you're like trying to be you don't have to be the squeaky clean uh perfect youtube advertise for little girls make sure no cuss words no any of that you don't have to do that but you also don't have to go full extreme and just do everything to be outlandish and be all that. You don't have to do either of those, bro. Just find a middle ground and just focus on, if you want to do music, just focus on making the best music possible and go from there. Is taking her seriously. But not whatever this is, bro. It's because she is trying to push this bad girl era, but everything she does just proves that this persona is not genuine. Firstly, let's just get this out of the way. The Kiss-inspired makeup has to be the least authentic thing any rebellious person would ever do. Then again, it's perfectly fitting because Kiss was basically a glorified children's band. Their music was considered badass and rebellious if you were ages 8 to 13 in- Not too much on Kiss, damn! What did Kiss do to anybody? Leave Kiss alone, bro. Kiss is a good band. What did Kiss do to anybody? 1975. Huh? I wanna rock and roll all night. And party every day. Okay, when you sing it like that, that's gonna sound like a little kiss song. Which are likely the oh, ages of people that I was Gene Simmons for Halloween, bro. Currently think JoJo Siwa is badass and certain Damn, I was a kid. <laughs> JoJo <laughs> expressed that her goal yeah. was for her bad this girl moment to be reminiscent this of fire. Miley Cyrus's bangers fire. moment. When I was eight is when Miley had her bangers moment. Okay. And I was like, all I want is to have that one day. Like, I want that. And honestly, since I was like 15, like my whole like inner circle has been like talking about it and like getting excited for it. Jojo even copies Miley's signature tongue out pose, which if you can believe it was controversial in 2013. And yeah, Miley is definitely a legend, but it's important for Jojo to recognize that Miley, Miley Cyrus, was actually bad. Miley, Cyrus, like Miley was smoking salvia out of bongs, twerking <laughs> on Robin Thicke at the MTV VMAs, wearing basically no clothing for all her public appearances in 2013. She was taking extreme risks and got so much backlash for it. I fucking love Miley Cyrus, bro. I'm sorry. Miley Cyrus is a goat, bro. The fans, the media, Cyrus. and other celebrities called her trashy, a stripper, Courtney pathetic. Love? Okay, Every watch it. Who else said that? Kelly Clarkson? Y'all better watch your mouth. Oh, Miley Cyrus, Horrible right. name to rebuke her antics. And Miley did not- Is Courtney Love really one to talk? I'm sorry. That- this- what the fuck is this? I have never seen this. Oh my god. Not care to explain herself nor satisfy anyone. She just kept doing her thing because she felt so trapped behind the child star brand for years. Miley constantly detailed in interviews how she resented the Hannah Montana character. She hated wearing the wig. She hated doing the press. She felt like a fraud to her young fan base. Miley was trying to do whatever she could to escape the Disney image, even if it the meant losing her young video, fans bro. and the oh financial benefits that came with it. She even had a multi- How old was I when Wrecking Ball came out, bro? I'm sorry, I have to check this for my- I'm not gonna play it. I'm not gonna play it just for my own sanity i want to know how old was i when that came out bro because i remember that moment vividly bro oh my god asked billy that's just 10 years ago 2013 there's no way it's been 11 years oh my god it's almost been 11 years it's been over 10 years dude i remember this coming out i remember so vividly this coming out i was eight damn Million I was eight then. I'm about to turn 19 now, bro. I'm getting old, man. Dollar merchandising old, deal man. with Walmart getting and the old, works man. that she lost due to her antics, wow. and she did not care. You could say in hindsight that what she was doing was trashy, but it was at least authentic. It seems like JoJo yeah. is talking up this transition more than fully diving in. Yeah. Even the tattoos on her arm were fake. Well, most of them were. Just furthering the idea that she is half committed. She seems half committed because maybe she doesn't want to lose all her previous fans that made her a multi-millionaire. 
Jenner. Remember, she sold $400 million in bows. Maybe she music is way different than TV or even dance. It's not even about talent. It's about depth, lifestyle, attitude, parasocial connections through lyrics and mystique, all of which are extremely difficult to fake and people know JoJo is not actually a badass. Like, look at this video of what she claims is a reckless or unhinged statement. The last few weeks, the internet has definitely made me feel like I'm a psychopath. I realized something. I am a psychopath. Oh my god. Uh, my favorite unhinged thing I've ever said. And this is some shit that only I can do. She really thinks calling herself a psychopath is some rock star shit. She already refers to her music video as- It's just not- yeah, it's not authentic at all. Like, she's not being herself at all. As iconic. JoJo seems to- People can really tell when you're being yourself, bro. They can. They can tell when you're being yourself, bro. Lack the understanding that she doesn't get to declare herself as badass and iconic. Other people have yeah. to do that for her. It's like declaring yourself a legend or putting yourself in the Hall of Fame. You don't get to do that. Other people determine your public perception. It's like she wants the credit before ever putting in the work. Plus, she has the money, time, and resources to actually put in the work. Put in the 10,000 hours to grow and change into the artist that she claims she can be. Exactly. Like I said, I will never, ever claim to be a singer. Yeah. But I will claim to be an artist. Okay. I what are we doing? I what are we doing? Am what are we doing? world art. And they might not like it. They might hate it, but they're enjoying it and it's become a bit of a guilty pleasure for everyone. But she likely has agents, managers, and yes men saying, no, you can do this. You can be whatever you want. Yeah, wrap your Lamborghini Urus with PNG cutouts of your face. That's what all 20 year olds wish they could do. But easily the one thing she did that diminished all her credibility during this transition is straight up admit that she was never bad. I got pitched this song, Karma, and it's the first word is, I was a bad girl, and I was like, Oh, f it's a good song. I was like, but I can't say that. I can't say I'm a bad girl. I'm not. I'm not. I was 18, fresh off of my dream, the tour. And I was like, I can't say I, I, I sang every girl's a super girl last week. Like, I can't <laughs> sing I was a bad girl this week. It doesn't work. How is anyone supposed to believe in your new image when you don't even believe in it yourself? Damn. Damn, man. That's kind of sad, though. I feel like she's in a weird spot. How old is JoJo Siwa? I don't even know how old she is, bro. JoJo Siwa age. She's 21. Okay, so she's still in a time, I feel like, of kind of, like, finding herself type thing, bro. You know what I mean? I feel like she's in a weird growing spot right now, and hopefully she's able, hopefully she has some, like, good people around her that can kind of lead her into the path of the person she, like, actually is and wants to be. You know what I mean? Because, bro, neither of these is, like, who she actually is, bro. I don't know. Uh, w video, though, thank you, uh, Patrick CC. Get JoJo Siwa some help.